Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Today I'm going to be vlogging kind of like a normal lifestyle vlog. I'm back home and back in Virginia and I have quite a few things to do today. I actually have to ship out some press on nail orders. I have a nail client at two and that's pretty much it. I do have to edit a YouTube video and I'm just gonna bring you guys along with me for my day. I did just do this twisted hairstyle and I'm pretty sure the video went up for this vlog so definitely check it out. I'll link it up here in the cards as well so you don't forget. So I'm gonna get my day started. I'm gonna bring you guys with me. Quick outfit of the day because I feel like I look super cute and I have not been feeling super cute at all. I'm gonna I'm I'm rant to you guys in a little bit here. But anyway, this top is actually Zara, but I found it at Marshalls. And lately I've been finding so many cute Zara pieces at Marshalls. So go to your local Marshalls before you spend $40 on a top at Zara because this was like 10 or 12 bucks. It's super cute. It's like a denim material and it's like perfect for summer. I love the white and blue. And I'm wearing a little skirt, but this one's actually from the Zara store. I don't mind spending my money on Zara denim like for pants because I love the way they fit me this one's actually a little bit big but I'm not mad about it I really like the looser fit and yeah it's super cute skorts are literally a vibe for summer okay so these are the nails I am shipping off today somebody bought the tortoise and another person bought the orange these are literally one of my favorite sets I've ever made and I'm so happy that somebody else is going to be able to use them so yeah if you're not following my nail page it's galaxy nails on Instagram it's always linked in my description box but I have just started selling my press on nails through DM because I still have not made a website and it just it's probably not gonna happen anytime soon honestly it costs a lot of money to like hire somebody to make it and it's very very difficult to try and figure it out on your own so we're just going with the flow at this point so I just said F it and I told people to DM me if they're interested and people are interested so like might as well just do it through DM. If that's the only way I can do it right now, then that's the only way I can do it right now. So I'm so happy that I actually got my little bubble mailing. You guys saw these like months ago. I still haven't even used them, but we're using them today. Oh my God. I forget which one I put in, in which package. Ugh! Oh my gosh. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Let me get another one. Okay, this one's the orange one. This one's going to Jasmine. Let me put a little O. And O for orange. Okay, shipping these off. butter pecan iced coffee What size? a small with oat milk and can I have four pumps of the syrup I just shipped off the nails I had to go out and get cash because neither their debit or credit card machines are working so that was a little bit of a situation but um, I did that now I'm at Dunkin I just ordered my favorite butter pecan coffee and fought every urge in my body not to get a donut as well. Okay, my nail appointment is like in 30 minutes. I've been home for probably an hour now. I've been very distracted on TikTok and I still have to clean my nail room. I'm gonna bring my ring light over there so I can prop you guys on the ring light so we get better lighting, better views, but my nail room is a mess because I was doing nails on Tuesday, actually on Monday, and I never cleaned it up, so oops. So I'm about to clean this up really quick. Um, but yeah, TikTok got my ass. TikTok got me over here staying up till 3 a.m. Not getting anything done that I need to get done. But if you don't follow me on TikTok, you should. Okay, here is my little mess that I really need to clean up ASAP. And I have to kind of like organize all my stuff that I'm going to use for my next client. I really should get in the habit of cleaning right after I finish. But I usually don't because I just be so tired and... Yeah, but I'm gonna clean this up really quick.
And these are, by the way, the last three nail sets that I have that are for sale that are pre-made. These are the little polka dot ones. They're like short stiletto. Oh no, these are medium almond length. And then I have these long square ones with glittery pink French. And then I have a long coffin purple with like a glitter swiggly line. So these three are for sale. Check out my Instagram, Galaxy Nails, if you're interested. But yeah, I literally just clean my room so fast. I have like 10 minutes until my next appointment. And yeah, I'll record the process for you guys. I'll probably just record the design portion and you guys can watch me work. So I like to have everything set up in the order in which I'm going to use it, which makes the process so much quicker. So I'm not sitting here scrambling, looking through my drawers to find stuff. So I have like my bonder, my primer, my primer, gel X, and then top coat and base coat. And then once I use everything, I literally just put it away so that's just an easier process. Um, and then I have all of my cuticle stuff here. I have my mat ready. Is that the color palette? Yeah, looks okay. pretty. Okay, okay, okay. Do you have a little bit of a lighter yellow or? Um, let me see. If not, I can just mix it with white. Uh. And then do the other three with so the these two tips. flowers? Yes, okay. and then the three with the tips. Hi guys, it is a few days later and I have not had any more clients this week. I really wanted this video to be more like my life as a nail tech type vlog, you know, just kind of behind the scenes, but I haven't had any more people and that's the reality of starting your own little business. Some people, you know, it booms overnight, but others it's a process and it just takes time and I'm super grateful for the clients that I even had this week. I know I'm talking to you guys right now and you guys didn't even get to see the final product of the nails I was filming, so I'm gonna insert them right now. We went with this coral and orangey color theme, which are the perfect colors for summer. I did like an ombre French tip and then I did two flower nails as little accent nails and they came out super super cute I actually really really love these nails and I actually did have another client that I did this week although I wasn't filming but I'm gonna insert the pictures or video from that nail set here it was super cool and unique I've never done one like this with the checkerboard design and then we did like the two-tone with the smiley face it was super cute and very different for me and I love when I get little inspos like this because it gives me a chance to practice things that I don't normally practice so I really, really love this one. And of course, if you already follow me on my Instagram nail page, you've already seen these, so I'm sorry for the repetitiveness, but I thought I would include them in this 
video so it's actually saturday and i have absolutely nothing to do so i am about to do my own nails i actually just finished prepping them i don't know if i'll show you guys like the full full process but i'll show you guys little bits and pieces of what i end up doing i got everything set up in my room i'm gonna prop you guys up on this camera and just zoom you guys in but i also will probably film a reel um for this nail set and then i'm trying to watch my show i've been obsessed with watching queer eye so i love this show and i'm going to continue watching it while oh, i awesome. do my nails okay so i'm about to get started i think i'm going to be doing these like almond these are stiletto they're long stiletto but i think i'm going to cut them down so they're like medium long and just round them out a little bit so they're more almond than like pointy stiletto i'm going to do these and then i'm thinking i'm going to do I'm thinking I'm either gonna do this brighter blue, it's like more of a baby blue, or maybe this teal color. And then I'm going to do like bright pink and orangey florals. And yeah, we're gonna see how this goes. So yeah, I did all my cuticle care and everything already. I actually did a really good job this time, but I'm gonna get started. And if you like this video so far, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Okay, I just got all of my nail tips on. They're way too long. These are the long stiletto ones that I just showed you guys. They look really pretty, but way too long and way too sharp for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut them down a little bit. I wish I had an actual tip cutter, but I'm just gonna be using my little nail clippers and hopefully they don't break because these are kind of like really, really loose. So I'm just gonna be cutting them off like this. I'm gonna do like that and shape it up a little bit. I don't know why this isn't focusing. There we go. I don't know if you guys can see the difference between those two, but yeah. Okay, I just reshaped and filed my nails and I love the way they came out. This is probably gonna be one of my new favorite shapes and lengths. I really, really love this one. And also I usually use a Prey extensions, but I use the Good Trades one that I randomly got off Amazon because I needed it like ASAP. And I bought it off Amazon, it delivered the next day. And I really like this. I don't get me wrong, I love, love, love a Prey, but these ones are really good as well because they feel a little bit lighter for some reason but i'm gonna just test them out and see how long they last i really hope this set lasts me a long time i really took my time to file down and just make sure the cuticles were seamless and all that stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and start painting i'm gonna go in with my base coat from a prey and then i bought this nude color off amazon as well and it's just like a pretty pinkish nude color that's a really good base for like any design so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and get started on my design Okay, so instead of doing the blue or teal that I showed you guys, I ended up going with this little peachy color. I feel like it looks yellow on camera, but it's more of like a peach color. And I just did these little swiggly-ish lines, like leaving a little gap in between. Honestly, it's very random. And I think it'll look really pretty with the like florals on top, like hot pink with a little bit of white. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how I did that with this hand. I like to do my non-dominant hand first so that I know that I can actually do the design. If I can do it on my non-dominant hand, then I can do it with my regular hand. So let me show you guys. This is the polish that I'm using. It's from Savula and I got this in a whole pack of like 24 pieces. I really love these because the brush that it comes with makes it super easy to do nail art. I don't know why my camera has not been focusing. It's been like really off lately, but this is is the little tip that it comes with. It makes it super easy to do little designs like this. Thank you. 
I've literally been doing my nails since one o'clock in this lovely afternoon. I'm trying to correct this lighting. There we go. But um, anyway, I struggled. I look so ugly right now. Literally, it's 8 p.m. And I've just been here chilling. Like, I've watched a whole season of Queer Eye. And now I'm watching this show called, um, what is it called? It's like these rich people who go out into the wilderness and try to survive. Which I swear there was a um, MTV show just like this that I used to love watching. I forget what it was called. But this one is called Snowflake Mountain. It's kind of stupid, but it's a good show to just like have play in the background when you're doing stuff. But anyway, back to the nails, right? I really tried hard to do these flowers that I wanted to, that I inserted in the video earlier. I could not do it, so I just settled for some dots, and the lighting is so harsh. Okay, I just settled for these little blue dots. I feel like the corally peach color with the blue looks really pretty, so I ended up doing that. And I still have to do this hand, and then I'm done. So yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm gonna do this hand on camera so you guys can see what I did. And I'm just using a little dotting tool to make the perfect little dots. And the color blue that I'm using is from Nail Addict. It's called Fun in a Bottle. Okay, here is the final result of my nails. They came out so cute. I love this design. I think it's so pretty for summer. I'm pretty sure you guys weren't even able to see me put the dots, but I, it's pretty self-explanatory, I would say. But yeah, definitely follow me on Instagram if you aren't already. Here's the other hand. It's the same exact thing, same design on the same fingers. These came out so cute, and I really, really, really love this shape. But I am going to end the vlog here. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Don't forget to follow my nail page on Instagram. It's Galaxy Nails. I will do my best, my best to try and sell press on nails very soon and to accept like custom orders with your actual finger nail sizes, you know? So it's just custom to you. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Now that I got my nails on, I'm going to be doing this. I hope these last a very long time because I love them. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. My next video is going to be a hair video because I actually just got my toner today. So stay tuned.